Hey you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review the SpongeBob episode Fear of a Krabby Patty, requested by eTiki45. So, as you guys can see, I did rearrangements on my SpongeBob background. The posters up here, the posters down there, plus a couple of stickers. So, I hope you guys enjoy my new background. Fear of a Krabby Patty is the start of Spongebob coming back where some people either still continue to love the show or people hating the show and just losing complete faith in Spongebob. <sighs> After the Sponge of Squarepants movie, it was originally supposed to end with the movie, but Nickelodeon decided to continue it, and I'm glad they did. Some people may disagree, but I'm still glad the show is going on. This episode is about when SpongeBob starts to have phobias of Krabby Patties because he hasn't been sleeping because of Mr. Krabs' 24-hour thing. So it's his fault that SpongeBob, Squidward are tired. Even Mr. Krabs himself is tired. As you guys can see, I still love Spongebob. When season 4 started, I still love this show just as much as I loved the first three seasons. Nothing's ever going to change that for me. Season 4 start for Spongebob I thought was really enjoyable. Obviously, when this episode first comes up, you notice changes like you notice the style of the show does change a little. You notice the animation being different as well as it is more brighter now. River Cry Patty really does impress me. It does show why I still love Spongebob. It's a very funny episode. I actually laugh non-stop almost all the way through this episode. It's just very creative. The fact that Plankton impersonates Spongebob's psychiatrist was just very funny. Every single bit was Spongebob with his psychiatrist, Langton. Yeah, he actually takes away the P. So I thought that was funny. I remember this episode kind of freaking me out a little when I was younger. But I still thought it was really funny. It's kind of a weird episode. It's a little strange. My flaws with this episode is definitely the st disturbing images with Spongebob Squirter and Mr. Krabs having those big black bags under their eyes because, you know, they haven't been sleeping because of Mr. Krabs being greedy and snooty and all. They haven't been sleeping, so the disturbing images of those happening, I, I didn't quite like that. Also, I thought the strangeness of Spongebob's Krabby Patty phobia it was a little too strange at times, like kind of, they were trying to go a little too strange in my opinion. I felt like the ending was just rushed, like it just felt like, okay, problem solved, this and that, episode ends. And I didn't hate the ending, just wasn't what I quite hoped. Overall, for this being the start of Spongebob coming back, whether you still love this show or hate the show now, it is the start. Well, Spongebob coming back. I still love this show, of course. I give Fear of a Cry Pay an 8.5 out of 10. It may have a few flaws, but overall, I thought it was creative. It made me laugh almost all the way through. And it was just really freaking enjoyable. Shell of a Man is about when Mr. Krabs molds his shell, he loses his shell, he is flabby, he is naked, he is disgusting. So when he has his Navy reunion coming up, he asks his Spongebob to impersonate 
as himself because Spongebob is stuck inside his shell that he molded out of. Shell of a man, I enjoy this episode just as much as I enjoy Fear of a Krabby Patty. They're both equally highly freaking enjoyable in my opinion. I think it's creative. I think it's very funny. I think Fear of a Krabby Patty is a bit funnier though, but overall this is still a funny episode in my opinion. I just think it's really good. The problems that Shelva Man does have is that is that the whole Mr. Krabs being naked, it can be quite disturbing. And when I was young and saw this episode, I actually remember having nightmares because of how freaked out I was with Mr. Krabs getting moldy. Especially seeing his shell hollow. Yeah, that gave me number nightmares when I was young. I'll never forget those nightmares. <sighs> But as I'm older now, I'm already used to that fact. While it's still creepy, it's enjoyable, and it's actually quite funny. I enjoyed SpongeBob's impersonations as Mr. Krabs. I think he really brought in a lot. Definitely the scenes when they're at the Navy reunion, it was just really funny. There's a couple of quite gross humor. But overall, I think the humor overall is just really good. It gives me good laughs. There are a couple of jokes in this episode I didn't like. Like like that scene where SpongeBob threw out... Yeah, he actually threw up his skeleton body. And I just thought, okay, that went a little too far. Like, there were jokes where I felt like, okay, that wasn't needed. Why did that happen? A couple of those does happen. This episode is enjoyable despite a few flaws it had, just like Fear of a Krabby Patty did. Sponge would definitely portray Mr. Krabs was very creative. He actually was a very cool Mr. Krabs. Seeing Mr. Krabs naked was funny. How the ending played out was very funny too. Um, but the ending, just like with Fear of a Krabby Patty, I felt like a situation's like done. It's all like, okay, this is done. That episode just ends. I think these two pairings were a very great and kick-ass start to season four. So just like Fear of a Krabby Patty, I am going to give Shell of a Man an 8.5 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this Spongebob episode, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I am 22 Tiger Dude, don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!